It is time to undo my death. Ouchies. Oh, is this here? This is the shortcut that I just unlocked. Admittedly, you can do them out of order, but it's extremely funny that the shortcut I unlocked is... 0 0.2 feet away from where the death was? That seems on purpose. Like, ha, I will prank you, but, you know, you just unlocked the shortcut one second before you died, so... Are you really set back? We were just having a funny jape. We're just being a silly guy. Ha 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 I've got ergo for days. And another quartz. Leveling stuff goes over here. May have gone too far. Nope. I nailed it. No. I'm sure by like one, one air go. There we go. And now we return. I've got a quartz to spend. And then we got this thing to turn in, which will do a thing, maybe, or it'll just be a piece of lore. But if it sends me to an actual location, then that location has a significant chance of giving me a quartz, because at this point in the game, that's just how this game rewards me ever. Is it gives us it gives a quartz. That's what it does. Every time. Kitty. Now I'm the cat. Get one of these now. Recover some of guard regain as HP when perfect guard is successful, but we don't know how much. Hmm. Hmm. Dash just doesn't seem to matter very much. Lower swap into a bit bit bit. Special grindstones recovering your durability is probably good. And now we have retain guard. Regain when using pulse cells. Now we have all four of these and these three ones down here. We skipped the entire final tier entirely, which is not a great sign. I'm sure there's somebody who likes them, but damn. The fact that I don't like any of the final skills and I built all the way there just kind of feels like a letdown. Apparently, I must remain in this room. I hope Geppetto is safe. Be careful out there, won't you? The hotel will always welcome you back. Why must she remain in this room? I'm guessing that the butler has decided to keep her up there in case something happens again, because the furthest from the door. And clearly it can be barricaded. I always welcome Decipher this mechanical cryptic vessel. Who? How long do you think it would take me to decipher it? Time me. Echo! All done and all yours. For a layman, it would have been a tough nut to crack, even for a replica. 
Child's play for me, of course. I bet you could make a fortune by solving the code behind it all. But why the Grand Covenant, I wonder? Uh, apologies, my friend. I, I became lost in thought. Please take it. Orders. The train doesn't leave anymore, and the merchant awaits a frozen feast in the destroyed town. Huh. Appendix. An order form is attached for mutual trust. No gender preference. A request for bastard-style stalker equipment. Refer to the daughter of the Wolf family, codenamed Fox's Equipment. Please obtain it by crafting or check if there's an extra in stock. Even though she's cut ties with the Wolf family, she's still a Wolf. She's got a good eye and the best equipment. Maybe we can look her up when we're upgrading her our equipment. Frozen Feast? The train doesn't leave anymore and the merchant of waits a frozen feast in the destroyed town. That's a hard spot to spot. Hmm. The Wolf family means it's the Fox Lady. Workshop Union, Benini Works. All the Baron stuff. Krat Central Station Platform. Here it is. Ah, stop it. God, this. Damn it. Do I have to buy another controller again? Oh, my life is so hard and expensive. I believe you guys for a living. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the photo. This is off by the collapsed area where you first see that crowd is fucked. And where these crystals are and these particular dogs. Oh, there's a merchant, literally. Okay. Who are you? I make deals only with established clients as a rule. What? Why are you showing me that? That's too suspicious for me. I'm not interested in third-rate stalkers like you. Piss off. Hmm. Who are you? He only only deals with established clients. So the weapon is the clue? What was the clue he said? He waits a frozen feast. Okay. So I showed him my weapon and it wasn't the quote unquote frozen feast. Boop. I don't know if frozen feast is a clue or the literal name. It sounds like a kind of familiar, like it might have been a weapon I could have chosen. But if that's the case, it's probably a boss weapon. So the question is whether or not I already bought it, or I bought the opposite weapon, making it impossible to get. Here we go. I came for the other, the other stargazer, but it was not helpful. Yeah, I came from Collapsed Street. But a man in apartment is actually... See, the, this picture right here? That's your destination, right? But abandoned apartment is the one that actually goes to this destination. And to be fair, this looks like a picture of where the actual checkpoint is in abandoned apartment. But the checkpoint that's for Collapsed Street is inside of the building at the end of the entire level. Full of that one guy with the cane that electrifies you. So it's like... Well, it's not very helpful. <laughs> So I had to run past a bunch of that guy and then fall out a window and then they're like, oh, I guess I'm back at the Clap Street. But it's like, the Clap Street pr is before that level, basically. It's not the most helpful landmark. Uh, let's go here. Stop it. God damn, this controller. Okay. 
I want to give Alidoro's belongings to someone who knows their worth. That it? Frozen Feast, the purple, the, the blue one. The one that looks like it does ice. Okay. Guess I'll buy that. Just for the sake of finishing a story beat. Given that I have largely already committed to certain weapons, I guess that anything that gives me a quartz is probably be uh, better than the weapon or items I'm missing out on because I've largely opted out of those items by now and there's an opportunity cost. Uh, they're the weapons I'm not built for, so they're kind of relevant to us now, or they're amulets that I have to clear out a ton of weight in order to be able to use because they're hard to use. So I'll trade in one of my opportunities to get a weapon or an amulet just to uh, whoop. hopefully get a quartz. Or honestly, just to do little story things and quests, just to find out what they are. Because I try to do everything within reason. Especially in shorter games. It feels so much better to do everything in shorter games. Doing everything in longer games, you're like, what am I doing to myself? Why have I done this? So do I have to equip it? Who are you? I make deals only with established clients. Oh, is it Mr. Frozen Feast? I knew only the meeting spot, not the client. I apologize for not recognizing you. Here's the item you wanted. I made it just like the uniform of that conceited stalker. Hope you like it. Looking forward to more discreet transactions, if you catch my meaning. Red Fox is hunting like apparel. Looking and it is a quartz. The hunting apparel of the red fox it is a replica ordered to be made by the one who adored the stalker with the fox mask. The stalker with the fox mask was known to be the daughter of a time-honored family. It may have fallen into decline, but the old house's eye for exceptional equipment was as sharp as ever. Alright, well now I'm dressed as both the brother and the sister at the same time, so... At this point, I'll be disappointed if I find her and she attacks me or talks to me without any acknowledgement of what I'm wearing because they front-loaded chances to do weird stuff tied to her their appearances before you meet them. And it's in the actual story. It's like in the actual gameplay. I think the Aladoro helmet is a weird quirk of like there being patches that just add things, like how I had Guan Yu's gear all of a sudden. I think that's a bit different. I say that because I didn't know how the Guan Yu stuff was added necessarily, but... Boop boop. Oh wait, no, the quartz. Bullet. Womp womp. I forgot to spit my quartz. I gotta go back in there now. Ugh. Anyway. It's a little goofy because there's diminishing returns. Because the more I, at this point, the more quartz I get, the more I'm buying things that I passed over a dozen times already. But all of them are upgrades. You never know which combination of quartzes are gonna help out in my time of need without even me even realizing it. But yeah, the uh, I'm playing the day they added the Guan Yu gear to the the game, like the patch. I, I waited like an hour for the patch to happen because it wasn't that big of a download, but it had to sit there and like install forever for some reason. Uh, and that, the patch notes just saying, oh, we added this gear. I'm like, oh, okay. Is that how the Aladoro stuff happened? You just added it in a patch one day. Stagger window. 
Legion arm slots don't care. Cube uses don't care. And it retains a certain amount of guard regain when receiving damage. Is not a bad thing. It's just there was a cheaper one over here, so I got that one instead. And standing against the stagger window, there's a cheaper one I didn't get yet. Cube uses don't care. Belt slots don't care. Special grindstone uses is significantly better than most of the options here, so maybe that or the stagger window. But I think I've stopped failing to get the stagger at this point. So this might be the best one because it means I could, instead of waiting, I could actually have the effect twice, but it's going to require three quartzes to actually pull off, which I don't believe in. But here I can get more stagger duration right here, so I don't... <laughs> I still get the best of both worlds, because as far as I know, the ones on this list are just as good as the ones on the tree. I don't think they're even different quality levels, but there's no way to verify without uh, doing illusory wall levels of inspection that I'm not going to ever do for any game, really. I'm not really interested in doing the, the, the out of pulse cells upgrades, but it would be a little funny. Like, if you had all of them, your character does have... It just comically plays better the moment he runs out of heals, which is funny. Enhances weapon attack when your ability is at maximum. That's just like one hit, presumably. I don't know how much it, how much stronger it is, unfortunately. So it just kind of doesn't seem very effective. Effect effect based fable arts. My fable art is just I hit people with my weapon and it and it does stagger damage or something. It doesn't cause an effect. So that entire category is out the window. I don't use my legion arms very much. I almost never get a chance to attack an enemy from behind during boss fights, which is when I actually need help. Stagger duration again. Just two stagger durations in here, which I might not need to even get, so let's... around for something else. Lowers guard regain reduction. The more, uh, the more buffs we get for guard regain, the better. I don't always get to use the mechanic to its fullest, but it's just the simple fact like, hey, if you block, you take damage, but you can get the health back. And then if you hit them back, you get the health back. So making the health come back faster is good. Making the meter of how much you get to regain stick around longer through a variety of conditions, like you healing or you taking damage, that's all good. Anything that preserves that recoverable health so you actually get to have it, that has a knock-on effect over the course of the fight that's just hard to calculate, but is there. Look at my camera going. It just loves to stare at the floor. I am annoyed that another controller is dying. I'm not even mean to these things. Let's see, I can close that. There we go. Don't need to keep the I don't need to keep the image anymore. That it hints at what to do. We'll see how this costume looks with the with the dog head, but for now, I'm still in this mode, hoping that either of these pieces of gear pay off in any way when I find Miss Vulpus. Hi. He's fine. From my perspective, where I don't care about who's shooting at me. Ah, there's more. Oh, it's them exploding. My bad. I was confused. This is gonna suck. This guy's gonna try to shoot me, but also there's gonna be a butterfly. I'm gonna ignore the butterfly and deal with this guy first, or I'll get this guy right. okay. Oh, he just has that. Ow, stop. Okay, we're done. Uh, that Wait, that guy has a knockback gun and just didn't do it. Sir, I think that was the whole point of the fight. Oh, wait, no, he also has a flamethrower thing? The disruption thrower? Okay, weird. This is such an obviously, like, oh no, it's hard to balance here, it's scary room. Dogs? Did I fight them already? That old or new? If you fall down, you fight dogs, but is there gear down? There is a chest down there, so I do want to go down there. Even though I succeeded at avoiding going down there. 
But it just seems obvious to me that that environment should have... Oh, maybe I have to go down regardless anyway? It, it just seems obvious that they would uh, have those guys have guns. Guns that have knockback to make you fall off the ledge like they've done before. That was the most precarious little rafters zone so far and then it didn't actually do it to me. Is gear that way? Is that the forward direction? Is to drop off this side? But this also loops around? He's dead. Oh, it's a real gun. See, there it is. I remembered. Hi! Oh, that cloud's still going. Oh, God! I'm about to have to respect my character real fast if the final boss has disruption clouds in it. I'm gonna say that. So I've avoided... Oh, God, I'm still dying. Oh, God! <laughs> Running away until this goes down. Oh, it's going slow. Yeah, thankfully there's a statue that lets you respect your characters. We know that. And I very well may need that if the any of the final bosses start hitting you with disruption clouds because it kills you instantly and my, I have like, no resistance to it. Red Fox, Fox's amulet. They're continually teasing me with the Red Fox now. But yeah, the uh, a thing that I was just looking at that I have been passing up, but it just feels wrong to grab, but maybe I'll need it, is that one of the defensive upgrades you can get in the skill tree, as opposed to gear, is increasing your resistances to status effects. So if you're having trouble with those, you should probably get that. <laughs> or all of them. Just that the other things are pretty good. Ow. That's enough out of you. On another one. When you do the parry, but the knockback happens anyway, so you still die to the attack that you successfully parried. Rude? That was very rude. Yeah, I'm not trying to lay it on that thick, but damn. They really are recycling the same enemies in huge quantities. Uh... Box? Plus three to motivity and technique. Ooh. Probably not that good for me, but it's there. Might be good. How much is away? Uh, a lot more lost than this, but that's because this thing's expensive. Uh. So, 430. Four hundred and fifty. Again, like twenty damage. That might be worth more than a little bit of health. This weapon should scale with both mo motivity and technique. Yeah, more so with motiv motivity than technique. But at this point, my motivity is so high that we're hitting diminishing returns on more points of motivity. And for all I know, more points of technique might genuinely increase my uh, <laughs> damage by more. Ah, that's the gun guy. I guess I should be checking that to see if that... I should have been checking that for a while now, potentially. I've just been focusing on the stat that is the, obviously the better stat for my weapon, but for all I know... For all I know, uh, technique might be a better stat by now. Because it has D scaling, which is much worse than A, but... Higher, yeah, the higher a stat gets, the more diminishing returns there are. Like the bonus gets lower as a soft cap or eventually even a hard cap to just make it 
more reasonable and not just absolutely busted to just spam one stat exclusively the whole game. Out. Out. Stop it. It's a part of why the ring might be doing so much for me right now. Might be because it increases my technique, which I have ignored. I think just the entire game. I think I've just never upgraded it. Because I decided to be a strength guy instead of a dex guy. But... Turns out if your dex is so fucking low that it's broken, you might need a little bit of dex. Whoops. Um. Well, that looks a wee bit upsetty. First half's the easy part, but then this guy starts aggroing on you. And you get to deal with that. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm a super cool badass dude. One quartz, please. Wow, I'm smart. It's just the game doesn't have that much to give us anymore, honestly. Like, we already have full moonstones, so like, what else is it gonna give me? more new weapons is getting kind of pointless because who's going to be this late in the game and, and hunting for a new weapon to specialize in? So almost every bespoke thing should give you quartz, but it does mean they're giving us so much quartz that like how well we did up till now it has diminishing returns because they're going to flood us with quartz now. You don't run out of stuff to spend them on. But given that you prioritize the most impactful stuff, uh, it feels a little silly now how much you're getting it for almost for free. I was like, please get stunned. Similar to the game's like, hey, here's a bunch of Legion Caliber. How is this guy inside the wall? These ambushes are getting really nonsensical. Did they put him inside the masonry? And he just somehow needed to come jump out and attack me specifically? A lot of ambushes are usually like, this guy's down the street and there's a barricade in the way and he knocks the barricade away or the wagon or something that was placed there. Not, he's literally inside the masonry and somehow knows to do this, even though, like, I want to, th like, think about it, like, these, these monsters that are made of the cure are a recent occurrence. How the fuck is that guy inside the wall? How did he end up inside the masonry? There was no entrance above or below. It wasn't a chimney that had a, a pit at the bottom that he was stuck in. They had to build a wall in front of him, which looked old. But as far as I know, the lore is that everything happening in this game happened pretty recently. Not this building itself, but like the... All of the cure monsters happened relatively recently, I believe. Oh. I didn't skip on that. Oh, I, don't, I don't care about that. Who cares? Let's-a go. Miss Fox, where are you? I've been anticipating your appearance for a very long time now. Damn. This goes up. 
I guess this is the angle where I can see both walls. Oh my, so my joystick does that. Oh, there's a boss fight. <laughs> Unambiguous boss fight location. I was the first to be completed. I will hatch. I will hatch from the egg and fly into the new world. One of the one of the seems that one of the things that definitely seems that we are pursuing and going to encounter is that there was let's see about 16k. Uh, there was an there was a star that fell to Earth and it impersonated humans and we called it an angel, is what it said. I bet that's one of the final bosses. Okay, the answer is no. Technique increases my damage by two. Motivity increases it by also two, actually, but... But it's a cooler two. <laughs> uh, advance does not increase my attack. It just makes my electric blitz stronger. Motivity is slightly better for electric blitz, which I don't really use, but it's there, I guess. Okay, that, there goes my theory about technique. <laughs> it's so low, it's my lowest stat, it's all the way down at 5. Maybe every other level gives increases by 3 instead of 2. Maybe it alternates or something. I don't know. Splitting hairs at some point. Alright, so we're fine on souls, I'm level 85. Got my big weapon ready. And let's see what's in store for me this time. What could go wrong next? Is it the fox? Nope. Oh, it's this thing. The La Trek looking thing. Well, the black cats implied that they're currently just buying time for that thing to happen. So I'm, I'm sure that that thing's going to pay off just in time for me to arrive. Ah! No, I have that weapon. How dare you? <laughs> Ow. Oh, he's so much faster than I am at this weapon. It's not the same weapon, but it feels like it is. Okay, not a shockwave. Shield on his back to flex my attacks. That's gonna, that's gonna be annoying. This person definitely has a phase two, because this is very easy. Ow. Fuck. God damn it. Saying easy doesn't mean I have to beat on my first try. 
I'm just saying that, like, clearly this is not a huge challenge. It's not exactly destroying me. But I blew it. I got greedy because it was like, ah, oh, there's my chance to do my big hit. The meter's white, and then it just didn't work. I imagine they're resistant to lightning, but I mean, might as well use it regardless, right? Ah, I tried to dodge through them, but they fucking got stuck on them. What? I was in range for that? God damn it. Oh my god, that's new. That missed? I'm so fucked. Worship Sir Manus. Once again, Manus, the, you know, the final boss of Dark Souls. <laughs> Just kind of a funny comparison. Uh, the correct thing was to dodge behind them, obviously. That's the big attack that keeps going forever. It feels like it should be an opening. Like that, oh fuck. And I'm fine. It feels like that should be an opening that I can strike during, but it seems to really be really hard to pay off, uh, actually pull off an attack during that. I don't think I got a single electric charge off of them, which is annoying, but it seemed kind of inevitable that they would be resistant to it. The shield! It's so annoying. That was a good dodge, damn. Matter of stamina, fuck. Again, again, where's my opening? There it is. Shit, I'm going to miss it. Oh, fuck. It didn't happen. Obvious phase two. Ah. Phase one's so easy though, yeah. Now for the thing that's probably gonna drain the next three hours of my sanity.
your sword. Vexasia swears to protect this tower. I'm gonna be fighting her for the next six hours, aren't I? <laughs> Only two heals so far. Oh god. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! Not a ton of health, but they're so fast now. Fuck, I'm gonna die. Sorry, the dread is setting in that multi-phase boss fights always do. We are like, man, I have to grind the whole phase one every time I want to try that phase. Just when I want to practice it. Uh, and this is a phase two that has lightning constantly. It's going to be hard to avoid. I should obviously go equip whatever I can that gives me lightning resistance. Time to just settle in for the doomed feeling I have when I just know I'm not going to win. But I gotta keep trying for a while. My electric buff is useless at this point. I don't know why they love jumping so much. Ah, bad dodge. Shock that didn't hit me? No, that still hit me. I thought going behind would make it. Whoa! Did that always do that? I just didn't notice because I was always not in front of it. Ow. Is she more aggressive? I feel like she's doing more attacks than before and not stopping when she used to. Oh, that was still really close. Okay. See? Not a very hard first phase. It's all about just damage mitigation, like just trying to get through it with as much health as possible for this part, even though I died before I got to use all my heals anyway. But it's very lethal. I don't know how I'm going to dodge so many projectiles, I'm a little worried about that. Maybe this is the one time where it finally comes in handy to have too much stamina uh, reduced, or by which I mean reduced uh, running cost. Ah, oh, God, there's n it's so hard to tell when it's going to happen. God damn it. Nope, heal. Ah. God. Jesus fucking Christ. Really? 
con this controller's on its way out. <laughs> Oh, we're doing this again. We're doing it again! We're doing it again! <laughs> Ha 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 God, double hit. Rude. Shockwave? Yep. Yeah. Alright, well that health that heal didn't give me nearly as much damage. Nope. You missed me. <laughs> no! No! Ew. Nope, just the one swing. Oh, yeah, that'll get me. It's gonna be a shockwave. No, no. Got it. Way past cool. I blocked it. <laughs> oh, that all missed. <laughs> that accomplished nothing. Stop it. Fucking chill, man. Heels. No. God damn it. Ah. No. Things were like good for a bit. <laughs> Things were actually good for a bit. I actually had hope for a moment. I'm like, oh, am I going to beat this boss shockingly soon? Uh, maybe I'll try heavy mode. Maybe that'll help. Speso spe spe specifically, specifically, supposedly. Good job, buddy. Uh, 
supposedly, like, she doesn't have armor in phase two. So you're supposed to be able to stagger her? And I couldn't... She wasn't flinching at all. My attacks weren't doing anything to her. Like, why isn't she getting interrupted ever? I thought that was the point. God damn it. How did I find the only wall to get interrupted by? So early. God, they delay those attacks so much. I'd try it. Oh, this is my right joystick so fucked up. It keeps trying to look down. Fucking hard. Ah! God damn it. They made parrying so hard. It's because their 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 swing timings are so nonsense. Ah, oh, fuck. The shield. No! Harry Swagger. I'm gonna die now. <laughs> it's so fast. It's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. This fight's <laughs> fucked up. Dodge offset queen. Jesus Christ. Hmm. 
I don't know if it's worth it trying to be the parry guy in phase one, but I feel like I was getting somewhat better at it. But hit and run tactics were doing me fine. Part of me just wonders if this will be faster if I can get it down, because I might have to do this phase a lot. God damn it. Oh, that's embarrassing. No! Fucking shield. <laughs> it's so slow. Why is it so slow? It makes no sense. The attack takes seven years to go off. No, why, why can't I dodge around them correctly? Shield's broken. Maybe that's the goal. If the shield doesn't regenerate in phase two, that's probably great. God damn it. You're alive? God damn. I thought she was dead. Dead part one. I don't know what to do about that part. You just have to time it perfectly with the parry? It's, it seems nuts to me. Is bad. No. So close. That was actually so fucking close. Blocking. Blocking works so well in phase two. That was upgrading my ability to heal from... After whatever the fuck things are called. The healing. 
from post blocking shit. <laughs> Words, terms, too many terms. Too many terms for the same thing in different games. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no! Oh. I didn't know they could dodge offset before the fucking uh, grapple goes off with no warm up afterwards. Seems rude. Ow. I let go. Ow. No. Nope. Why do you get to have a bigger sword? Nah. <laughs> Goofy. Ah, I can't see anything. Right, this is a pretty bad attempt right now. Hit him! Fuck her. Fuck it. Ah. No. Yes, the shield broke. That's great. I'm happy it breaks now because I, I feel like I have a better chance in phase two if it's broken. That seems like it. That's logic. These are way easier to parry than I thought they'd be. It's very much like did you play Ocarina of Time training? It's like fighting Ganon. Eh, that's not though. Ow. Fuck. God. Ow. Yeah. Ah! Running right's supposed to work in those situations and games. What? I have not been doing damage. Can't even reach her. Where the fuck she go? God damn it. Once it, ah. It's so hard to have an opening. This carrot, this 
Fucking boss is so unhinged. Okay. Bye. Ah. I hate how she'll completely plant her feet for the attack and then just not attack finish the attack for the next two seconds. I'm just like, okay, I'm anticipating the movement. And then it's like, no, the attack doesn't come out at a time that makes sense at all. Ah, that does hit. God, it's so delayed! It's so comically delayed, man! It's obnoxious. It just does the animation just doesn't make sense at all. Fuck. There goes two heals. That was an early shield break. Okay, leaning right. Brap, 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 brap. That dodge didn't go off, or does it not work at all? Ah, why does she- she tracks more the third time. She tricks you into how that- that works, and then she literally just works differently the third charge. That's so frustrating. shredded. No. Ah. I'm so frustrated. Ah. I just don't know this fuck. Mm. God, I have no idea what the timing is. God damn it.
When are you done? Really? No! No! No, that was a winning attempt. You really like to open with that attack. Can I not? Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't understand how I'm so bad at parry mechanics. I, I know when the attack's coming. There's some attacks that throw me off because they're so comically slow, but mostly I get it. <laughs> I know exactly when it's coming. I just can't do it. I've beaten like literally hundreds of hours of games that, ba that are based around this mechanic and I still can't adapt. Oh god damn it. I thought you were fucking stuck. Finally. No, 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 no. No, do it. God damn it, I always forgot there's a fourth one. The, the attack is so slow. Specifically that it feels like it's, the combo's already over. It's like, what do you mean you're trying to get another attack in? You, you finished. Really? Why am I so bad at this fucking game? I'm so annoyed when I miss such obvious shit. Like, that's the attack. I know it's coming. Here's when it's coming. And I just fucking don't get it. Like, what is wrong with me? Simon says. That's that's impossible though. That's the that's on the game. <laughs> I just I just I do not feel bad at all for not getting that attack. It's so fucked up. Come on! She knocked me back so much that I fucking miss melee attacks. She has that much range advantage. I'm just returning my attack, and she's already out of range because of knockback. Oh god. God damn it. Damn it. Ah. I don't know this attack. I don't know this attack. It's so fucking terrifying to be one hit from death and then the fucking boss fight that you fought 20 times already just whips out a new red attack you've never seen before. Like, there's more? There's another red attack? 
The thing that you can only react to by timing a parry perfectly when you've never seen the attack before? Cool. <laughs> this attempt's gonna go great. <laughs> Ah, the fucking white state! The arm of God will awaken soon. This weapon's torture sometimes, man. Oh, it's a big heavy sword that means it's better at causing stagger. Uh, great. It's also a giant heavy sword, so it means you have to hold, you have to charge up an attack that takes seven seconds to trigger in order to actually use the white state. Because you have to hit them, and you can't just hit them with anything. When they're when their bar is flashing white, you have to hit them with a fully charged right trigger attack, and nothing else. Nothing else will work. The fact that you, they can be in the state where they will now like you've completely you've done it. You fin you've you finished the stagger bar. You've won, and now it's like well they're doing a 75 hit combo. Oh, I'll perfectly parry all of them. Doesn't matter. No, no amount of perfect parries will finally make them go over the threshold. They'll still just keep going forever. And in fact, the timer's going down on how much time you have to find the opening to do the, the white state. So you better find an opening in the middle of the 75 hit combo to charge a fully a full length right trigger or you don't get to do it and you earned nothing. And so the entire thing is just lost. Is there a part two coming? Nope. Ah! Fuck! I was doing good. I stopped using the extended sword on purpose, chat, because it wasn't going well. In particular, I'm trying to use the normal length sword for heavier impact against the, the second phase boss, because the hope is that she would stagger, as in the one where you flinch, not the white meter mechanic, because they confusingly called two different... Th there's two different things that could reasonably be called the same thing, and that's frustrating, but the thing where people flinch. I need her to flinch, desperately, so I'm trying to use the heavier version of the weapon. But honestly, fucking nothing is working. It's all torture. I already have lightning resistance on my char on my stats, characters, stat, whatever. Fuck the sentence. I give up on that sentence. Fuck. Really? That's the one I always get. As you can see, the uh, extended sword is taking 700 hits to do damage. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> oh my god, those, that was some iframes. Or not iframes, hitbox porn. I feel like that's the case of the game just giving me an easy advantage by just doing predictable shit for a while. That's why I don't always feel that cool when I win. I'm like, okay, well, thanks for spamming the lightning run. I've gotten really good at that one. Oh my god, I did it! I haven't taken damage yet. What the fuck?
Ah. Do you not stagger? Oh, here it comes. One of these. Swing, swing, swing. Swing! Ah. <laughs> the one time I ever perfectly parried the fucking charge at the beginning. She was half dead before I even got a hit. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, I kind of popped off. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that was about two hours of attempts. Let's go get another level. No, the thing I knew would happen happened. She's dead as fuck. Cherry scented letter, a letter that gives off a scent of cherries to the wonderful gentleman who gave my precious time back to me. The time I met you was life. It was light itself. Whether you're that child or not, I think you're a kind, precious child. Thank you for giving my joy back to me in my last moments. To the young gentleman who resembles Carlo. Antonia Serasani. That's probably why they gave me a quartz. Is to go see she's dead. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll never get any of the phase 5 skills. Fuck you. Uh, I maxed out those ones last time. No, I'm, oh, this is the one I'm doing. Increase special grindstone uses for future fights that presumably can be affected by my grindstone and aren't immune to lightning. Increase stagger duration, that never seems to matter anymore. I've always, I haven't missed one for a while. Maximum seems stupid. I don't want to have discharge things. I don't have duration based fables, I don't use Legion really. Don't care about the discharge skills, duration, stagger duration, attack. Oh, well, we're out of attack type upgrades. They're all irrelevant to me basically now. That's probably why I got survival last time, because this is locked out. Okay. Weapon durability recovery speed is not bad. Charges Fable with Perfect Guard. There you go. That's, a, that's one that I don't have yet. Does the cat still like me? <gasps> the cat's gone. Where'd the cat go? Cat? With unsurpassed sorrow, I must announce Lady Antonia has passed away. As she entered immortality, she seemed at peace. Her face was calm, and she wasn't in pain. It is all thanks to you. Without your most difficult of choices, she would never have found such peace. As for me, I am bereft of emotion. My life, or what passes for it, has lost meaning. It feels like pain has swallowed me whole. Thus I plan 
to erase my heart and become an ordinary puppet. This will be my last conversation with you as Polandina. Despite how it ended, I thank you for the kindness, bravery, and beautiful moments you showed me. Aww. Welcome to Hotel Prat. How may I be of service? And that probably doesn't say much anymore. Uh. The stalkers are Kratz. The bastards are sweepers. He just Welcome has generic stuff now. <clears throat> In a way, it was two bereavements. That of my daughter, and the person I once was. What is this one? Is this... Hmm. Rosa Isabel Street entrance. Someone to talk to? I wonder who. I can hardly believe it. But the ergo readings you gathered leave no doubt. No doubt at all, you see? Okay, Vanini, breathe. Despite your best efforts, they can't read your mind yet. My friend, my apologies. But when you hear this news, you'll be excited too. The puppets were being compelled by the Grand Covenant. But they were communicating with each other. With wavelengths. This is beyond anything I'd imagined. They were not built with this kind of intelligence. I did the best I could to decipher the wavelengths, but there was considerable noise in the signal. Care to give it a listen? sounded important, but there was too much static. Ah, tell me you heard it, please. We need to find the cause of the frenzy, and this may be our best chance. What or who was behind the frenzy? I've tried everything I can think of, but I keep coming up empty. All I wanted was to stop anyone else getting hurt. At least hurt by murderous puppets. Not even I can abolish all pain everywhere. Ah, no, you cannot give up, Venini. You are Venini, and Venini always finds the solution. I think we can't put it off any longer. Geppetto is the last hope we have. I've exhausted my talents here. These clues... I could find them, but interpreting them is beyond my abilities. We need the man himself. You must save him, compagno. You and Geppetto are the only ones who can save Krat. You feel the warmth. That was set up like a reveal, but I could have sworn we already knew that. But maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. Time to listen to the new record. Because I'm a real boy! Memory of Beach. I will always remember the memories I shared with you on the summer beach. Let's throw all our troubles into the deep blue sea. Do you have a past worth looking back on? Memory of Beach will guide you to your memories of the of the cool ocean.
definitely thought like here comes the lyrics any minute now. They're gonna just gonna pop in with some lyrics. Song's just warming up. <laughs> here it comes. Just give it a minute. It's gonna get there. Just, just, just give it a minute. Hi. I don't know why I came back here. It's awful here. Oh, you came back to one of my least favorite places. Came back to the giant clown street. This guy was awful. Nice to see you again. I thought if I got a second chance, I'd go to where my heart's content. I never expected to get out alive. Oh, it's overwhelming, even now. I want to take a look at what I have. I grabbed a couple of things before taking off. It's a new life, a new attitude, and simple pleasures like ordinary conversation. Nice loot, yeah? If you need anything, just say the word. Listen, I'm happy for you. Proud of you. I don't think you can get a lot of conversation here. I feel like you should have gone to the hotel. I used to be a fan of the actress Patricia. Not the red actress Adelina, but her sister. Patricia had an angelic voice like her sister. If she'd become famous, they would have called her the White Goddess. Uh, but her career was cut short. She took poison and ruined her throat. Uh, I've only read others' memories, so I, I don't know the details, but the memories people had of her songs. You should have heard her voice in her prime. Something transcendent like that. It makes you feel alive. I survived, so I'm seeking out experiences like that. So, any more questions? He's a fanboy of the White Lady, the scariest boss name in the history of Souls Likes. Did I go sightseeing? You bet I did. It's the heart of Krat. The theater, the Ferris wheel, there's so much to see. Although, most of it has burned down now, I suppose. Hmm. The most fascinating thing, I couldn't believe it. The writing on the back of a made puppet. I have read memories, but still, any way you look at it, it's the made puppet's words. Probably designed like that. What kind of puppet would write that stuff? Still, it was weird. You should see it for yourself. Nice loot, yeah? What you got? There ain't even a quartz. Why did I show up? Oh, the white lady's hunting apparel. How did you get her clothes? How did she get her? How did she get her clothes? That's weird. This one specializes in advance. Surprising to have an axe that that benefits not that much from strength. Anyway, I think I can stop wearing electric blitz space stuff. Is there something that's like even? It all specializes in something. Well, fire comes up more than electricity, I guess. Ah. Uh. Defenses can't get much higher. Well, nice meeting you, buddy. Glad you're uh, living life to its fullest at the end of the world. Uh, there's not much left to see, but I guess for you, things were bad enough that now you're like, wow, isn't life grand out here? I don't remember where the checkpoint was. I remember running past that guy. That's just steam. That's not a checkpoint, that's sewage. Common mistake. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. Back to Vanini. Who appears to have new dialogue. Everybody's favorite guy, Vanini. I lied to his face. And almost every other character is dead now. 
You may not be aware, but uh, I am an orphan. In fact, my parents were murdered before my very eyes. The authorities in Krat insisted it was a mugging, but I know what I saw. A mad, raving puppet killed them. A puppet that was driven by a murderous lunatic's awakened ego. I know that because the lunatic told me his name. Arlecchino. I'll never forget his insane laugh. I have been fitting puppets with the Grand Covenant to ensure no one else ever has to experience the same tragedy I did. But this is our last shot, the last clue. If this doesn't break through the static, then nothing will. But the key to all this is Geppetto. He's really our only hope, and it's up to you to save him. Go on and take the wavelength decoder. Even if I failed, you might be able to find more clues. You're someone who doesn't give up. Who knows? If you need to hear it, just use the stargazer. Here, take it. I should probably kill Arlecchio. The King of Puppets Black Box, deciphered by Vanini. <coughs> <coughs> ah. It can be heard better by using the decoder at a stargazer. Humans wish to talk to puppets, but they were limited without ego. Geppetto's puppet may be able to read the veiled messages. It goes down while you're blocking, not from getting hit. <laughs> Alright, so it's not exactly, it doesn't exactly come up very fast. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but you have to really, like, be ready with, with this one early. Uh, it doesn't work on red. Okay. Hmm. It might have been the trick to getting me through that opening attack in phase two. Considering how useless my lightning arm was against the lightning boss, just having a shield, even un unupgraded, might have been enough to block that attack. I don't know. I've really struggled to incorporate any of the arms into my playstyle. This feels like a cheese tactic of being able to block and swing, which admittedly might be very useful. Just like, hey, I can, I can block incoming attacks and do free attacks for a bit each boss fight until my legion arm is gone. And then I'm like, well, that was nice. Ones cost more. These ones will cost the remaining five if I go down this. But I don't think I'm going to be ready to parry. Parry with Y with your Fable ability? I don't know if I'm going to be ready to actually pull that off. As opposed to just doing a normal block. In the guard counter, you need to, you need to do this in order to get this. Or at least I think it is. The terminology is always really messy in this game, so it's hard to tell what the fuck the game's talking about half the time, and here's a good example. While performing a guard counter, charge for a more powerful attack. Okay. I just want to point out, the term guard counter doesn't appear anywhere in these descriptions. Like, this is a guard parry. Do you mean the guard parry? Or is the guard counter something else? What is, what's the guard counter? No part of the descriptions describes the, the, the guard counter. 
Maybe it's like referring to a thing that was mentioned in the tutorial at the beginning of the game. Maybe I'm missing something, but like... The game, the, so many of the tooltips refer to terminology, and then you're like, okay, well, what does that terminology mean? It's like, <laughs> good luck. I don't know. Carlo, I hope you can hear me. I'm Romeo. We grew up together in the Monad Charity House. Remember? We're best friends. I'm doing what I can to fend off both the petrification disease and the alchemists. My puppets and I are taking a stand against death itself. That's why I tried sending you messengers. But you got rid of them all. You're still an unstoppable fellow. I remember you. No reason for us to fight, I suppose. I'm Romeo. We grew up together in the Monad Charity House. Remember? We're best friends. I'm Romeo. We're the best friends. Uh-oh. He's dead. Unless he's not it? By the way, do you remember when I mentioned my partner? I got a distress signal from him. His last location was Krot Central Station. But my gear won't protect me from the petrification disease there. Can you find him for me? I'll Thanks. My partner's name is Atkinson. I think he was trying to secure an escape route. Look for him around Krot Central Station. D didn't say that you had new dialogue. I'm paranoid. Can't even do the stab. Can't even do the stab! Why do I even have a stab then? What's the point of a stab if I can't even use it in hallways? Why would they- why are the hitboxes of this weapon like this? What's the point of having a stab? Oh my god. My fucking god, this train is evil. Uh, how you- how you doing, buddy? Are you a stalker? Name's Atkinson. Crop militia. The suburbs are sealed off. There's no escape. Communications cut off too. Someone planned this all out. No idea who. Above my pay grade. If you meet someone named Bell in the city, tell her Atkinson died. A soldier. Uh, Atkinson's letter. My dearest Belle, I remember the day I met you through your father's friend, Sir Luft. That day, the steam of Krot Central Station was thick on the platform, and a flock of birds was flying overhead, above the glass ceiling. There, I was waiting for you. When I saw a lady take one step down those stairs, I knew it was you. Your effervescent laughter left an impression on me. The reason I'm writing this letter... Yes, I'm at the train station, and it reminds me of you from that time. We were colleagues at first, and then lovers, but I still can't let you go. The way you smiled and looked forward to the exhibition and festivals, those beautiful nights with the fireworks, I just can't let it go. So, if we had to survive and make it out of here, I plan to visit you with this letter. Please stay safe and wait for me until then. Sincerely, Atkinson. That's sad. So it's another one of those opportunities to lie to one of your friends, basically. Oop. I'm given by was like his brains out. Like that's. That's rough. Hmm. Hmm. Don't like that. This here feels like a universe where you just better off being a puppet.
good to see you. I was getting worried waiting this long. The situation here seems to be getting worse. Soldiers like me are blunt. So give it to me straight. Is... is my partner... safe? This... this is Atkinson's handwriting on the letter. When we came to Crop, I never thought it would end like this. Sometimes you meet people who make you believe they'll always be with you, but a life can be snuffed out at any moment. I need to stay alive to notify others of his death. But it feels like something inside me has died as well. Anyway, I appreciate knowing what happened. I mean it. Oh, another record. Wow. This game's being very mean to everybody. so brave how that song asks the question why and you're like damn you're right why the wrong song there's the good one is it even the right one i'm not even sure anymore the one that's basically the main theme yeah there it is yeah i've got no souls 
I'm slightly heavy. No. That's bad, though. Ah, oh, this arm made me heavier, didn't it? That's rude. They have different weights. You son of a bitch. Uh. I should try it still. There we go. Turn down our resistances a little bit. Back to getting my face kicked in. Would you like some poppin'? Important status change. There we go. It's so funny that this, the primary thing this weapon does is just extend. Better not have just turned back into being short. There better just be a sheathing animation. Why is there a time limit? Why does it say let her live instead of make her live? I don't like that language. Thank you. I was trapped for so long. So much torment. So much pain. Take my ergo. I will be with you to the very end.
shadow flower. More records! <laughs> I have a more obligation to maximize my humanity. Every time another record happens. Here we go! Wow. I wish French people were real. Back to it again, again, again. 
I was bracing myself for a boss rush. I'm like, oh god, I actually, I actually beat this boss. Oh my god. I kind of thought I'd go into the next room and find another boss, basically. And it's been... I think I've been doing other stuff for like an hour now. It happens. That looks like it goes somewhere. How about this? Hello. Oh. Just... Just an outdated upgrade item. Okay. With a location like this, you'd expect lore or like... A quartz, maybe. Hungry for quartz, because it's one of the only things that can do anything did anymore. Right thing, didn't we? I trust you. Let's keep going. That looks dangerous. It did untransform my weapon. That's just rude. Hi. Oh, you look new. Ooh. Oh, oh, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. No. Fire stays on the inside. <gasps> My... Okay, I didn't actually start being on fire. Good. You did not... You, your ass didn't aim at all. Uh. Uh. And I'm blowing it. No, no, no. Fire bad. <sighs> oh, god damn it. You are getting away with way too much. Oh, he's alive! <laughs> Wait, he's still alive! Stop it! Why? Why are you still alive? Oh, did I think that super attack killed him? But even then, the follow-up attack still hadn't killed him. Okay, there's the boss chamber. They're getting really unceremonious about the Titanite slabs now. Let's just... There's a corner on the critical path. Just, just pick it up. Uh, I'm not going to be able to reach that level. This looks like suspicious, like it's gonna be a level. One second, I gotta type something to someone. That. Ah. Yep. Listen, it's hard to multitask. <laughs> I often have to make, I have to have, often, uh, blah, 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 blah. I often have to plan and coordinate with people all throughout the day. Oh, nothing down here. No ambushes? No. Nope. They're just sprinkling me with upgrades. Oop! Oh, where'd you go? Wasn't ready for you. I would like one chill, please. I definitely thought that getting that heavy attack off from behind was gonna cause a visceral. I guess he must have turned or something. Took him out. 
They're made of paper by comparison. A little upsetting looking. Hi! Ah! Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Asymmetrical flinching! Asymmetrical flinching! I'm using, like, the heaviest weapon in the game. Why don't I flinch you? My attack landed. Aren't I worth it? Oh, he's worth... Wow, okay. That enemy's worth a lot. Don't react. No! Rude. I said don't do that. You don't take instructions as well. Hi. Ow. I guess it was just wishful thinking when I was like, maybe they, maybe they'll just put all the bosses back to back. Because now it's like, well, <laughs> what if you fought one enemy a lot of times? It's hitting the point where the, the later zones of this game are actively bad, because they just spend the whole zone fighting one to three enemies over and over again, and the level's not interacting with the fight, so it really is just a dude over and over again. Lights of P really said, you will never believe how much of this dude we can fit in this level. That looks dangerous. <gasps> A slightly different dude? Actually, is this the same guy? But he just did something. Ah! Ah! I wanted to deflect that, but I don't know if it follows the same rules, honestly. Ah, my attack didn't go off. Jesus. Okay, so this is this is a different guy. This is the mini boss guy. He's got a bunch of health and weird mechanics that the other guys didn't have. Oh fuck. I couldn't tell it was actually a different guy, so I was fighting him like the other guys, and that was a huge mistake. How you doing there, AI? Uh-huh. Very good. Proud right of you. Ow. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay. Nothing there. Don't think that's traversable. Another one. It's very funny. It's such an important upgrade that item, and at the end here, they're just like, eh, here's 40 of them just on the floor. Man, at one point, I, I, I so excitedly spent all of my resources to get to get the ones that were available when they showed up. So it's, just, it's just very funny. The game's just like, here's infinite. <laughs> Bet you feel silly. Oh, that's a long fall. Okay. Okay. <laughs> of course. Me and walls. Ah! Stop!
that's enough from you. I'm done with your shit. That's for cat dust. <laughs> Just got a vial of cat dust. What are you saying to me? Now cut it out. Another one. This is going to go down and be a shortcut or go up and be the way forward. I can never tell. There we go. now good Let's see yeah, I still get the same despite being so despite all the diminishing returns motivity still gives me the same or more damage than technique it's weird you think that I that my motivity would be high enough that technique would be worth more points at this point with this weapon even though it's scaling is worse just because it's such a comically low skill that it should be worth more per point but I'm not seeing a three or four, I'm seeing a two. Although maybe I should just be leveling it up because it might make switching to other weapons more viable, but... I'm not psyched about changing weapons usually. If I'm having trouble with the boss fight enough to consider changing weapons, then that's a whole problem for me, because now I'm considering changing my moveset to beat, to beat said boss. Got him. Uh, that's where I came from, though, isn't it? Yeah, this is the way forward. You. One second, I gotta do the 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 funny trick I was gonna do. I almost forgot. I'm dressed as you and your brother. If the, if you don't react to any of this at all, then. I will take a point off this game. Ciao, Bello. I had a feeling you were no ordinary kid, but I never expected to meet you here. It's a trivial matter. Everything is trivial in this part of the business. Reward or no reward. The reason for kidnapping someone or for blocking your path here. But if some audacious behavior helps my brother see again, that's a different story. In all honesty, I don't want to fight. Not you, at any rate. For one, it's a damned hassle. And why should I go out of my way to satisfy an employer who didn't pay me enough? It's not too late. We don't have to fight. Just show me some kindness. And I might change my mind. Thank you. This much? It might even cure him entirely. It's not fair the way I've been harassing you. You're the only one who's ever been kind to us. I swear on my life as a stalker that your father is safe. My employer promised not to harm him. Go on then. Go to him. Geppetto's waiting. I never even introduced myself. I'm Claudia. If only we had been friends from the start. But I suppose it wasn't possible. We were both protecting something, and those things weren't compatible. We didn't fit together. Hurry. Please. Go to your family. Mm, the storyline has a very disappointing... One, one, they didn't acknowledge the costumes at all, which just seems like a missed opportunity. Now I can beat the fox boy. <laughs> no.
Like, they were the most memorable and kind of interesting characters, so for them to just be like, eh, I'm gonna stand in an obvious boss chamber, but if you give me that one resource that you generate infinite of all the time and don't care about and never use at no cost to yourself, basically, then we'll forget everything, and then we'll just you'll just walk past us, and you don't have to fight us. It's just kind of a disappointing outcome. Like, they don't actually want something that I'll miss. They want specifically the resource that I never use. That I generate infinite of. Uh, passively, without any work on, on my part. If anything, it starts to feel like, oh, like... Narratively, maybe I'm the asshole. Like, it feels like I'm in the aristocracy and have some resource that... other that they need that I don't even think about because of how little it matters to me. So if, uh, that just means I'm the bad guy, right? That's what that story means at that point. I'm the bad guy, and they just need this thing, and I, why don't I just give it to them? He's like, this might even cure them. It's like, I... You should have just asked for more of the fruit then. I would have given you it. I don't care. I'll give you eight. Like, I only gave you guys like three total. I walk around with like eight of it at a time. I have four more on me right now, and I've never used a single one. That's the... That, that was our narrative conflict? That doesn't work. It saddens me to see my precious son in a place like this. I wanted you to grow up as a good boy in a peaceful world. And yet, I think all I've taught you is blood and violence. This will be the last time I ask. I promise. Simon has gone completely mad. He's trying to become a god by using a tremendous amount of ergo. I don't know what kind of world he wants to build. Perhaps there's no stopping him. I trust you, my son. And I'm ready for any outcome. But I don't know what you think of me. Speak truthfully, for my sake. Was I a trustworthy father to you? I see. I didn't do enough to earn your trust. I wasn't a very good father to you. I gave you more loneliness than love. That's my burden to bear. But remember, there is still plenty of time. Once all this is over, we can become a real family. I promise, I will give it back to you. The happy family we once were. Why do you have the key to go forward? That's a little strange. Well, you probably weren't a great dad. Uh... I only woke up for this adventure as far as I can tell, and my entire job has been to murder and kill and fight and slay, and throughout the thing you didn't even tell me the truth. Uh, and what world is fathering even happening, honestly, beyond me just projecting from other Pinocchio stories? Put an end to it all. And come back to your father's side. Son, you're all I have. That shortcut really was right at the end, huh? Oh, another shortcut. Okay, let's go. I know I sound whiny, but I'm just like, it's okay, game. You can just go along with the story. You don't need to keep padding it out. So when I see that shortcut, I'm like, oh, this is another level to play through. There's going to be probably two enemies total in it. <laughs> All right, so remember to loop back around to find our way to that chest. Ah! Ow! Jeez!
Ah. Ooh, dodged. Hmm. There was a glowing chest back here. Oh, I guess you can make that jump. I thought I had to find it from behind, but it's just very blatantly right in front of you and that's it. Okay. What's here? The Assassin's Amulet. Getting an amulet that helps against the future bosses at this point would be pretty wild. Increases critical attack. And da -da 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 -da. They believe that the reputation that earned from working behind the scenes in the underworld could be eternal. However, fame is useless before the gallows. Uh, lies of P. Critical attack. Having to reach it awkwardly. What are critical attacks and how does crit stat work? Crit only applies to attacks that are animation locked and triggered in red slashes, so yes, backstabs and fatals. Other than immediately if someone responds, that's wrong. Some weapons have crit, some don't. When you land a crit attack, flashes bright white. What? Oh my god, everyone's arguing about how this mechanic works. This game has serious clarity issues with all of its names and terms and stats. Like, whenever I look up anything, people are literally arguing how the stat works because nobody actually knows how to play this game. It's fucked up. They, they tried so hard to use, like, different terminology most of the time than other video games for basically no reason that, like, it's actively a struggle to tell what any words mean. Does the critical attack stat have a page on the wiki? This amulet does, but does the... Does the actual stat have a page on the wiki? Tell me how it works? Increases critical hit damage by 25%. Not chance, but damage. Yeah. Uh, only some weapons can deal critical hits by default. Okay. Lies of P. Which ones do? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, is there a critical stat? That, like, disappears and reappears if I highlight certain weapons. Oop. Which one should I... Oh, that's fire. Fire. Acid. Okay. Well, this weapon's called Holy Sword of the Ark. Holy Sword of the Ark. How does this game work? Internet... Control F, crit. No results. Okay, so I guess my weapon doesn't crit and this item's useless. And if I'm wrong, I don't know how I would ever figure that out. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea if this weapon can crit or not, so I have no idea if this amulet does anything. I... <laughs> uh, this honestly might be... These later levels being so spammy with the same four enemies repeating over and over again are pretty rough, but what might be the worst thing in this game is just the fact that you can't tell what stats mean half the time. For me, the bare minimum, especially if you're making a PC port, but honestly it should always be an option, you should always just be able to highlight the terms. All that are on the screen, and then you get a tooltip that says what the term means. 
without having to look it up and figure out another thing, and then you look up what that term means, and then you get a description that features more terms. And you're like, well, what does that term mean? And then you have to go look that one up, and then that one might say another term you don't know, and you're like, Jesus, man! Where do I find meaning so I can reconstruct what all these words mean now? Uh, Baldur's Gate's pretty good about it you, a lot of the time, in that you'll often get the chance to press a button to expand the tooltip, then highlight the thing, and then it might say another thing you also don't understand, but then you can highlight that and get another nested tooltip and actually just can do it all in one spot, as one would hope. Oh my god, that's unfortunate. There's definitely games that have done it better than Baldur's Gate, but most games do it worse. And I wish they didn't. Uh. But about half the time I've tried to look up anything about Lies of P, I've given up because the game won't give me the information, and the internet also doesn't really have comprehensive information because it's very ambitious to think you're going to get as thorough of a wiki treatment as Dark Souls. <laughs> Here we go. Especially if you're gonna call strength motivity and stuff like that. You're like, okay, man. Uh. So on top of all the new terms they made up, you have to look you have to look up all the terms that uh on top of all the terms that they just made up, you have to look up all the terms that or, like, translate all the terms that mean things you already know the meaning of, but they called it something else. And you're going back and forth between, like, okay... Which term that sounds like the concept of being stunned describes the white meter, and which one describes the concept of a character flinching when they get hit? Because those are two different things that can both be called the same thing, and they're especially different in this game. <laughs> 